another glorious week of hockey and in our fall 2019 season it is week five of another fantastic season at the Ice Sports Forum in Brandon, Florida. And this week features two strong opponents. Any team is strong, but these two in particular definitely have a lot to play for on this part of the season. And it's the Gold Knights taking on the Red Army. Hi everybody, Angelo Pontello bringing you the broadcast action. Joining me as always, Andy Townsend. And Andy, this week should feature some excitement as Omer Chaquan returns after being off two weeks even though the Golden Knights have sparked up a lot of offensive power. Oh, no doubt about that. Jerry Coughlin has been doing a lot of the heavy work in Chiquon's absence, but now that he's back, that is going to be a big boost for the Golden Knights as well. You know, Chiquon has always been one of those players that has been elite, a veteran man of his status. Has always found a way to keep things in charge. And right now with Chiquon, can't wait to see what happens with him today. And as we kind of get a look out on the Golden Knights squad, it doesn't look like Jerry Coughlin is out there just yet, but whether he shows up or not, having Chaquan back in business is gonna be key. Oh, no doubt about that. I expect him to do work against the Red Army team that's trying to start something here after coming off of their shootout win over the Grey Wolves last week. This is now the time for them to build up momentum as well. And as you mentioned, the Red Army as well, Andy, you know, a team that scored 15 goals a tie for third, if you will, on the offensive scoring power despite a rough defensive start on the fall 2019 season. Well, part of that as well is, you, you know, you, you, you're trying to get the team together. You're trying to still find your way about you. And even though most uh, handful of these guys have played together uh, last season, you know, such as Todd Duncan, Greg Bell, Drew Frost, and Todd McAvoy, you know, you, you got to keep partially in favor you got to keep finding ways to win games to just keep the the train rolling essentially as they say and I mean so far they've done that well and uh, they've made some new additions as well Doug Radigan with four goals already this season leads with Rick Galan as well and goals scored and something that he's hoping to try to get out as well so don't be surprised if we see Doug Radigan take it on his shoulders today this is gonna be a high-powered offense of the Gold Knights today. They are hungry, they're ready to go. They have their five-star player back. It's time to play hockey. And with the sound of the buzzer there, we are ready to play some hockey on the other side of this break. Gold Knights, Red Army here on the Game of the Week. So we are ready to begin. Omer Chiquan will take the face off against Mark Hunger for the Red Army. Starting at left wing for the Red Army, Rick Gallant, right wing Tom Sutherland, defenders back Doug Radigan and Paul Pascal. Meanwhile, for the Gold Knights, starting at right wing, Chris Paris, left wing Jim Pernice, defenders back for the Gold Knights, Kevin Reels and Scott Harrison. This is out to Chaquan. Chaquan working up early. And off to the side, back to Chiquan in the corner looking for a chance to finish through. And it's Chewy who stops the puck there. Chewy is what he goes by here in over 50 hockey and at the Ice Sports Forum. But Phil McClung has been quite the keeper ever since he came here. Well, no doubt about it. He is the Green Hornet keeper this season. But again, with Chris Ragusa out, they need somebody to fill in at that keeper position. Chewy is the right guy to do so, I think, for this Red Army team. Last week, they had an unknown in there, and that keeper ended up stopping four shots and did phenomenal to a certain degree, you know, in the shootout last week. But now it's Chewy, and for the Red Army's sake, they're looking for a chance to hopefully not put Chewy in a situation where he has to win it in a shootout. And that maybe the Red Army can perhaps get some offense going here and stifle the Gold Knights. So puck coming back deep in the Red Army zone. As faceoff hits off the stick of Mudra. This is back to Gallant. Rick Gallant and company off to the sides. Back out to Gallant far side. Gallant off the stick of Hunger. It goes back into the Gold Knight end. Retrieved by Kevin Reels. Cleared out, it comes back to Radigan, far side for the Red Army. Off the boards, finds Gallant. Gallant, stripped loose by a defender and it gets taken away now by Mitch Starr. Starr back in the Red Army zone as he fires on end, Chewy kicks it out. 
and of course usually in games you see it go back and forth here and there especially early on where both teams try to find their stride but neither team has really broken one free yet Gallant in the Golden Knight zone skating into the Golden Knight end from the corner looking for a man to get it off to shot fired knocked away by no it's in a scoring opportunity comes alive for the Red Army as it's Mark Hunger who taps it in for the Red Army striking first I thought for certain Angelo that Jay Hannon would have had the save there it looked believable it looked like he should have had that save but somehow at the last second you know he bubbles the puck he tries to figure out how he was gonna get to there and you know with Mark Hunger in the way trying to tap it in as well great persistence there for the Red Army and what a way to start out the game Omer Chikwan and the Golden Knights looking for the equalizing goal as it gets away from Paris and is coming back for an icing call. Manny, as we look at this Golden Knight offense as well, you know, coincidentally, Omer Chikwan has been out the past two weeks, but as we do a comparison here real quick, the Golden Knights come into this game and they have themselves 17 goals, or check that, 15 goals but 11 of those 15 goals come from the past two games when the offensive spark really hit. Despite losing to the Blue Bombers two weeks ago by a scoreline of 5-4, to four, the Gold Knights rebounded last week, took care of business, and they took it hard on the, on the Gray Wolves, or check that, on the Green Hornets, as they defeated them 6-4 to four last week in a fitting offensive fashion with Jerry Coughlin and the Mick Phelps. Well, even though it looks like he is not here for today's game, it'll be a tough loss for them, but at the same time, Omar Chikwan can do just as good as Chuck Coughlin. And maybe they don't need Coughlin after all, as Scott Harrison puts that one through, or check that Chris Paris knocking that one in, as the Golden Knights do tie it up with 9.24 in the first. And it's a good possibility there, you know, Chris Paris is another one of those players that if you give him an opportunity to shine, he'll do so there. And right there scoring his second goal of the season. Really good job there by the Golden Knights. So just like that, we're all tied up at one. He gets from McAvoy back to Bell, now to center towards Frost. Drew Frost trying to make a move around Harrison as it gets out. Star. This is back over to Mudra. Mudra trying to outbeat Frost for the puck. Could not. Drew Frost takes it away. Now back to Greg Bell. Bell gets it cleared out off the corner. This is back to Star. Star looking for options. Finds Reels. Backhands it to Mudra. Looking for an opportunity to capitalize. Back the other way. Shot chance. Can't handle the puck. An opportunity there for the Gold Knights. Slips right through their fingers. As a chance for Mike Lilly to capitalize and no dice. Well, sometimes when you look at an over 50 hockey team, Angelo, and you look at the way it's synchronized essentially, that's why they have the rankings one star, two star, three star, four star, and five stars. Obviously, you know who the four and five stars are, but the key to really building a good team is knowing who your three stars are, your two stars, your one stars, and how they can utilize you very well. And, you know, in situations like that, if you're one or two stars in a lineup against any, if you will, you know, the biggest thing is to try to find a way to get them involved in it and whether you mix it up. And that's the key thing for captains when they create their lineups is how are they going to find a lineup or how they're going to build a lineup that's going to be utilized well in these games. And sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, depending on the type of player you get by the star rankings. Pass goes off the boards, it gets around to Paris, getting a move around Hunger, shoots off a Chewy, rebounded by Chiquan. Chiquan, off the skate of Hunger, gets it back over the reels, and cleared out sharply by the Golden Knights. Oh, and again, you could tell that if the Red Army was slacking anymore, the Golden Knights were just a little more hungry, they could have capitalized on that one. 
Puck taken out by Gallant by center ice. This is back in the Golden Knights zone, taken around by Sutherland. Sutherland looking for Hunger. He comes around to Gallant in the Golden Knight end. Chaquan showing pressure back to Hunger, trying to take a shot. Cleared out by Chaquan. Puck comes back to Rad again. Red Army returning the favor as it puts it back in the Golden Knight end. Taken out now by your man and Kevin Reels. Reels, a another over 50 hockey vet that came into the season back, came into over 50 hockey, if you will, back in 2015, has really put up numbers since. Well, when you say put up numbers, it more or less means that he's really found a way to hold up his own in the plus minus category. Somebody that really you don't see give up goals essentially whenever he's out there on the ice. The, his keeper doesn't give up goals anyways for that matter. That's why they have the plus and minus symbol. But um, just a tremendous job. Anytime you see a man like him coming out there and continue to play hockey, does well. Reels also plays in the over 35 league here at the Ice Sports Forum with the Stinger squad as well. And in addition to the bar flies on the weeknights in the C4 league. So you talk about somebody that tries to keep in shape just by playing hockey. Kevin Reels is one of those guys. And there's a handful of guys in this league, Angelo, that do play on the weeknights and some on the over 35 league in the alternate. You know, another guy we think about too, Scott Helwin is right in their list. Mark Hunger used to play in the over 35 league with a Hooters squad, but you know, that's that's just the name of the game at this point. You you bring a lot of experience and as the years go on, you're gonna have guys that get up to the over 50 age and they're gonna bring that experience in here, which naturally only makes the league better. Frost, near side, takes a shot at hand and nothing there. Second shot saved by Jay Bird. James Hannon coming into today's game, only allowing 4.25 goals a game, tied for third best in this over 50 league. Hannon trying to hold his team up on the defensive side with 5.56 to go in the opening period. One all our scoreline here in week five's game of the week. As the Golden Knights go ahead and make a lineup change, Homer Chaquan and company coming back onto the ice. And it'll be Chaquan taking the face off against Hunger. From Gallant, shot fired there by the Red Army, no dice. As Bob Leary tried to take a shot there on net, was blocked by the Golden Knights. Leary looking for round two. Off the boards, looking for Sutherland, taken away by Chaquan. Homer Chaquan, far side, heads sharply into the Red Army zone. Chaquan looking for a chance to capitalize, backhands this one over the net. Rebounded by Leary, no sir, they'll be instead taken away by Hunger. From Harrison, looking out for Chaquan, taken away by Hunger, trying to clear this one out. And it comes back in the Red Army end. Right now the Red Army are starting to revert back into their old ways, trying to find some kind of pattern, really can't find it there. Golden Knights really taking advantage of what they do best, and that's aggression. Chaquan shot, stopped by Chewy for the save. And again, you talk about somebody who can really keep you in the game Again, Chewy is one of those guys that can do it. Well, it goes to show you with why he does what he does with the Green Hornets this season, but any keep in the over 50 league, if you had your choice, Chewy would definitely be in the top mix. Except for that time as Scott Harrison knocks one in from point and the Golden Knights take their first lead. I don't understand why, Angelo, but every time we build somebody up, it seems like the opposite completely happens and it just, it goes from a moment of praising him and just another second he allows a goal to go in the net. Well, sometimes that's just the beauty of over 50 hockey and you never know what's gonna happen in situations like these. That's why we say in any league at the Ice Sports Forum, it's any given Sunday or any given day of the week you're planning on playing in your day league, etc. But right there that time, Golden Knights just kept chipping away and they found a way to capitalize. And this puck now scooped up and taken away. This is back over to Radigan. Fires the shot, knocked away by Hannon. This puck played around. Harrison trying to get this one played out. Batted away in the air by Sutherland. And Hunger. The referee's deeming an advantage carry on by the Red Army. Good call, Red. 
And so play will halt with 4.15 in the opening period. And that will give the Red Army an opportunity to change their line. Drew Frost and Mike Lilly on the faceoff as it hits sharply back to Radigan far side. Radigan looking for a man to get it up to. Finds Frost in the Golden Knight zone. Red Army looking to regroup. Michael Wiener with the shot chance, and this one back in the Golden Knight end, taken around by McAvoy. Pascal looking for options. He'll fire the shot. Ricochets off, intentionally off of Wiener, and just couldn't get it in. Radigan, another chance for the Red Army. Shot fired off to the right side. McAvoy hits off of his own man, taken away by the Golden Knights. Mudra. Radigan keeps it in the Golden Knight zone, not for long. Here comes Scott Harrison, beelining down into the Red Army zone. Radigan back, shot fired, kicked out by Chewy. No, gold. Another goal for Scott Harrison. The Golden Knights really putting it on tonight. And you know, this is exactly what we've been talking about earlier, where it's the Golden Knights have the potential of just honing in on the zone. They're real good chances. And right now, it, they're really taking advantage here. Gold Knights extend their lead three, or check that, tie it up. No, they do extend the lead three to one, beg your pardon. As we get this one off the boards, this is around to Harrison once again. Mudra. Is back around to Frost. Frost looking for some options. Instead, it gets around. Pass Hunger now off to Bell. Bell puts it back in the Golden Knight end. It will be taken up now by Star. And taken around. Wrap around. Chance for the Red Army by Frost. No dice. Mudra. Taken away by McAvoy. It's around to Chaquan off the boards, looking for his man. Fires it back to Chaquan into the Red Army zone with John Mudra. Chaquan backhands it way off target that time. Gets rebounded, Harrison with the puck. Backhands it back over. And sandwiched in the middle was Chaquan by that Red Army defense. Well, very often do we see them make a play like that. We really don't see Chaquan get battered like that, but that time the Red Army had to make a statement, had to knock him off the puck, and they had to do what they had to do. Puck is back to Gallant, looking for options. Off the boards, Sutherland trying to skate up for the puck. And he gets to it in time before they can make an icing call as it gets up. So Gold Knights have a chance to regroup. This one out to Paris, out of his reach. As Bell gets it back in his own end, trying to make a play out of it. Gold Knights intercept this one, backhander. Off to Greg Bell. Taken away at first by Hunger, comes back to Bell, off the boards looking for Gallant's got him. Gallant in the Gold Knight zone, pressure by Pernice. Gallant in the corner, trying to find an option, regroups quickly. Looking for a pass off. Backhand chance. Knocked away by Hannon. Rebound made by the Golden Knights in their own end as it gets back out to Paris. Radigan. This is Chip One. Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Pernice working against Hunger as we're now in the final minute of this opening period. Paris shot fired just off to the right post. And this one rolls around. And a rebound chance and Chiquan knocks it through. Talk about the awareness factor there. Oma Chaquan, initially, the shot initially taken by Paris, just right off to the left side, takes a bounce. Chaquan, sneaky as he is, gets it in the red army end, and wraparound chance. Chewy wasn't even aware for it. And right there, the Golden Knights extend their lead. Golden Knights already doing a lot of work here in this first period. 57 seconds in the opening period. They have a commanding 4-1 lead over this Red Army team. Gold Knights trying to pick up right where they left off from last week as this one gets cleared out back in the Red Army zone. They'll be taken around by Pascal. 
This pass intended for Frost. Pressured by Reels, gets back to McAvoy. This one stays on the blue line, still fair for the Golden Knights as they knock it back in the Red Army end. Around to Pascal once more. Out of Lily's reach, Reels fires the shot, kicked off a Chewie's pad. And off the boards, Golden Knights looking for another chance. Reels, kicked by Frost, here comes Hunger. Check that, that's Michael Wiener looking for a chance. This one off the boards. As Mudra look for an option, but that is how the first period is going to come to an end. And the Gold Knights off to a fiery start here. 4-1 our score here in our game of the week. And we'll have more on the other side of this break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Start of the second period. Omer Chikwun. And Mark Hunger on the faceoff as it gets back over to Frost. Sutherland working near side, stripped away by the Golden Knights as it gets back to Chaquan. This puck back around to Leary. Heavy pressure by Pernice. This one around to Sutherland. Taken away by Chaquan. Now the key thing here, Angelo, is the Golden Knights, they've been in these situations many times where they start the game out with a lead and then it dwindles down as the game goes on. We've seen it, especially in the past two weeks. The Golden Knights last week were able to hold on, but the week before that against the Blue Bombers, the Blue Bombers came back with four unanswered goals from that third period and they were able to do work. And right now for this Golden Knight squad, the key thing is they have to find a way to protect this lead at the moment because it could dwindle away if the Red Army even get hot. Sutherland into the Golden Knight end. Kicked out by Hannon. Rebounded by Reels. Reels looking off the boards, finds Pernice. Pernice looking for that pass. Intended for Chiquan, Pascal knocks it away for the Red Army. Golden Knights looking for plan B here. Chick one batted down by Gallant. Shot fired, kicked out by Chewy again. Now this is going to be one of those things where we believe it's Scott Harrison in that number 18 jersey for the Golden Knights. We're not exactly certain for sure. We're trying to uh, get that information confirmed by scorekeeper Connor Boltz but right now he's just been having a phenomenal game so far already has two goals to his name and right now if the Red Army don't find a way to stop him from that defensive position it's going to be a long day for them Golden Knights trying to get above 500 for the first time since opening weekend for the Red Army trying to build off of their last week's shootout victory over the Grey Wolves and right now, Golden Knights really doing a good job of keeping the pressure on. Well, it's not just that too, but you have to see the, a little bit more firepower from this Red Army team. Usually by now we would have seen perhaps Doug Radigan maybe take it on his shoulders, look for a way to try to add more pressure from his defensive position. Or you could see maybe Rick Alant trying to take it on himself as well, trying to come away on a breakaway shot. I mean, we've seen these things happen already in the fall 2019 season. It's a matter of if they're going to be able to replicate that here today. Mudra will take it himself center ice, gets around Radigan back in the Red Army zone. Mudra, fighting his time, will fire the shot, kicked out by Chewy. Mudra just fighting his time there that time, really good precision, and it's a matter of trying to finish, and right there really had Chewy working. So Hannon watches this one go all the way back for an icing call, 9.04 in the second period. As face-off will take place deep in the Red Army zone. So for our scheduling here this week in Fall 2019 with six teams, at the conclusion of today's games, everybody will have played each other once. Next week starts another round robin of games, and then after that round robin, with a 12-game schedule, two teams 
or check that, all teams will play two teams three times, and that's the teams they played in weeks one and two. Well, sometimes in that advantage there, it could be an advantage depending on how the schedule works out. For the Golden Knights in their case, they'll have to play the Black Aces and the Grey Wolves three times, and that can go either way depending on how many players they have. Mudger with an opportunity, and it gets knocked down by Chewy. John Mudger just itching his way to get on the stat sheet today. He's had some chances, but Chewy's been snuffing him out real well. Well, no doubt about that. Mudger really trying to get him on the offensive action for the Golden Knights. And right now, just really being stopped from one way to another individually. And really just looking for his chance. Chip one and Hunger on the faceoff. This is back to the Golden Knights, into the corner, looking for options quickly. Back from Chaquan, trying to hold up Sutherland, looking for a chance to regroup. Gallant showing pressure and gets it stripped out by Leary. Gallant backhand pass, finds Sutherland, off the stick of Hunger. Here comes Mark Hunger, fires the shot, hand in there, knocking away. Reels with the rebound for the Golden Knights. Gallant keeps it in the Golden Knight end, looking for Pernice. This puck coming back around. This is Leary in his own end, trying to escape. Gets it around. Regrouped and cleared out finally by the Golden Knights. Well, even though you have a three-goal lead, the last thing you want to do if you're the Golden Knights is start to get complacent. Start to right, even Tommy, give the Red Come Army on, some let's hope. Go, let's go. Even giving Red Army some hope is going to be a detriment to this Golden Knight squad. They have to find a way to continue to add on the pressure and they can't, like I said before, get too complacent in their own defensive end. We look at the Golden Knights and so far, according to their record, and goals for versus goals against them. The goal differential, if you will, has been minus six so far this season for the Golden Knights. Chaquan trying to change that now. Breakaway chance against Chewy. And Chaquan slips with the puck possession and has to regroup. Not very often do we see Omar Chaquan have slip-ups like that, especially on a breakaway chance. Back in the original over 50 days, 99.9% .9 of the time, he finds a way to put it in the back of the net. That time, just a little bit off, and now looking for another chance to redeem himself. Pascal. Trying to keep Paris off the puck, could not for long. Paris looking for options for the Golden Knights in the Red Army zone. Pass back to Harrison with the shot off to the left side. Chaquan trying to jab it in. And that is a good goal for the Golden Knights as Chaquan is back on the stat sheet after being away for three weeks. And just excellent effort by Chaquan. It was just all about a time of redemption there and Chaquan Finally does it. He gets himself on the stat sheet with a goal there. Oh, another one, if you will. And now he has two just like that. Two goals for Omar Chikwan in today's game as he extends the lead for the Golden Knights to 5-1 with 6.47 in the second period. This puck gets around from Reels looking for Mike Lilly. Gets it away from Pascal. This one back around Harrison looking for options. Skating up quickly is Drew Frost. Frost looking for some chances here in the Gold Knight zone. Frost flipping it back intended for his man and McAvoy just couldn't reach him. Pascal keeping it in the Gold Knight zone. Pressure by Harrison as it gets back out. And Radigan dumping it into the Gold Knight end once more. Gold Knights trying to move it forward. Instead, they decide to ice this one all the way back in the Red Army end. And just like that, the Gold Knights with the 5-1 lead really not seeing a lot of pursuit from this Red Army team. Uh, uh, an urgency, if you will, is not there for them. And they're trying to get back being down by four goals. Gold Knights have nothing to worry about thus far. Really no aggressive effort as yet. Red Army hopefully looking to change that here. 
as it'll be Hunger and Lily on the faceoff. Bell biding his time. Puts it back in the Golden Knight end. Sutherland trying to set this one up off of Hannon. And gets around to Mudra on the move. Mudra looking for a clean connection. Got Star. Mitch Star bide his time. Can't locate the puck. And this is already back out of the Red Army zone. And it's a matter of these little plays right there. Like we were talking about earlier, Angelo, the two stars and the three stars is very key in terms of how they're going to be able to find themselves on the board, how to get themselves scoring goals and to really make that difference between a good team and the best team in over 50 hockey in a season. Chikorn is back to Mudra. John Mudra sets it back to Chikorn. Off to the left side. It's taken out by Gallant. Rick Gallant on the move near side. Looking for options in the Golden Knight zone. Gallant. Looking to take it himself as he gets back in the Golden Knight end. Off of escape. Bell fires the shot onto Chaquan. Chaquan looking to scoop it up and keep it on the move. Can't handle the puck, but Paris gives him a helping hand. Chaquan with Pernice. Out of his reach, Jim Pernice regroups. Off the post. Pernice looking for the setup. Almost went into the net that time. Off the skate of Mark Hunger and a lucky ricochet bounce just narrowly misses the net. Well, how many times have we seen that in over 50 hockey as well? A lot of blunders can happen, especially from a defensive position when you're trying to really get the puck out and you're not even aware it's off your skate. And every time you hit it and it comes back, even from a keeper's perspective, it can catch a keeper off guard and you just have to be aware for it. Harris with another opportunity, couldn't handle the puck. And talk about chances, Andy. The Gold Knights have had plenty of them. Well, they've had plenty all right, and so far by the scoreline, they've been able to capitalize on, on some of them already, at least half of them from what I can see in terms of golden opportunities for the Gold Knights. But now it's a matter of shots like that. You have to take advantage and score. Pernice shot on Chewy, knocked off, rebounded by Gallant. Gets out to Hunger. This is back to Sutherland off the boards around reels. Sutherland in the Golden Knight zone looking to make a noise and could not as he is snuffed out and silenced by Jay Hannon. 3.15 in the second period. Golden Knights up 5-1 over the Red Army trying to get back to five, trying to get back to over 500 for the first time since week one. Red Army looking to avoid a 1-4 start. Off the boards, this is to Mudra. Can't get it past Pascal, finally does, and it gets back over to Lilly. Open on center ice towards the near side. Radigan chasing back and strips him loose. Puck is around. Wiener can't locate it. And it's Pascal who tries to clear it out. Stopped by Reels, keeps it in the Red Army zone, looking for Lily out of his reach. See, and, right, and again, Angelo, you look at the, the pace of this game right now, and with two and a half minutes in the second period, 5-1, again, Golden Knights really not having to worry about the defensive pressure because the Red Army with two four lines, it just, there really isn't enough power right now for them. It's, they're just in this lull right now. Well, part of the key role as well when you're missing guys like Todd Duncan, who could really add a firing force, you know, that that also can be a detriment as well. You need guys like that that can add some spark and firepower. And when you don't have guys like that, the game's going to speak for itself. Another shot fired, kicked out by Chewy, rebounded by Drew Frost for the Red Army. Red Army, a team that we've been mentioning, trying to become the first over 50 hockey team in history for a three-peat shot. Got to get themselves back in the Stanley Keg though first, but nevertheless, Red Army coming off a of back-to-back Stanley Keg titles here in this over 50 hockey league. And with teams changing constantly, you never know what to expect. Oh, no doubt about that. And right now, this is a squad that early on you can tell is trying to find their way. Frost trying to capitalize on the near side as this puck gets shot out. Another chance by Pascal off the bar. And play will be immediately halted. So finishing the point up there, Andy. Big thing for the Red Army is 
the first step to get into the playoffs again is they got to find a way to be one of the top four teams at the end of 12 games. Well, I mean, right now when you look at those standings, Angelo, they're only a half game behind the Grey Wolves. The Grey Wolves a half game behind the Gold Knights at 2-2, two and two, which if the season were to end today, the Gold Knights would be that fourth spot in the positional standings. But still, lots of hockey left to be played, lots of season for a chance to rebound. Leary's shot deflected a few times as it gets away to Chaquan for the Gold Knights. Chaquan finds Paris far side. Chaquan covered by Bell. Paris off the skate of Chewy gets it deflected. Bell can't get to the puck in time. This is Pernice looking for options. Gallant for the Red Army back in place as he looks to regroup. Leary off the corner, pressure by Chaquan. Comes back over to Hunger. Bernice can't keep it in play for the Golden Knights. Chaquan regroups. Gets everyone on sides, and Chaquan just like that dumps it back in the Red Army end. And just right now, the guys continue to skate around. There's really no sense of urgency. And it just looks more like a pickup game now than an actual fighting force. Leary gets it around in his own end. Out of the reach of Mark Hunger as this one skates all the way back approaching Gold Knight end. In 25 seconds in the second period, he passes now to Paris off the boards. This is Chaquan. Omer Chaquan near side looking to make a move. Fighting his way and he gets knocked off the puck by Gallant. From start back to Paris, shot fired off of Chewy. Paris fighting for the puck. Gets taken away by Leary instead. Chaquan in the far side corner. Back to Harrison, biding his time. Shot fired, deflected off of Hunger. Gallant. Nothing he can do there as time expires in the second period. And as we reach second intermission, Gold Knights now with a 5-1 lead over this Red Army team. As we look at the squad, Andy, and really, with 12 minutes to go, anything goes. Well, of course, this is another one of those situations where we've seen it many times. After two periods, the Golden Knights have a three-goal lead, a four-goal lead, and then the third period is just a rough time for them to get themselves back in order. I mean, we, we see it on the stat sheet. We see it on the stat sheet even here right now, Angelo, of the 17 goals given up, you know, 13 of those goals or check that, 11 of those 17 goals are given up in the second and third period. So they have a history of putting the cruise control on a little too early, but now an opportunity to finish out strong in this third period. 5-1 the scoreline. Gold Knights trying to get to 3-2 at the end of this game. We'll have more action on the other side of this break. This is Over 50 Hockey's Game of the Week on the Pontello Broadcasting Network. Time to rest for the weary as the third and final period is off and rolling. Reels keeping it alive for the Golden Knights as it gets back over to Pascal for the Red Army. Pressured pass connects to McAvoy. Trying to get it through two Golden Knights, could not as Harrison steps up. Skating around towards the left side. Frost. Wiener on the far side, pressured by Mudra, takes it away. This one working quickly. Lily can't hold it for long as it gets all the way back to the Red Army end. This is the Radigan off the glass high. And this is going to roll all the way back in the Gold Knight end. Red Army trail 5-1 to the Gold Knights, 11-02 in regulation as Radigan doing anything he can to keep it away from the Golden Knights. Radigan now far side, will look to take it himself. Lots of room, winds up for the shot, low save by Hannon. And so now maybe this is where we start to see Radigan take it into his own hands and see what he can do on an offensive pursuit. You know, lots of opportunities. And I, it's one of those situations now where you, you see the Red Army and how they procrastinate at times all the way to the third period. And this is now a chance for 
them to at least start to close the gap essentially like we mentioned before still plenty of time you're only down four goals now it's time to put stuff together and try to get yourself a scoring opportunity Lily feeds it up to Star. Mitch Star looking back to Mike Lilly, pressured away by Bob Leary. Now that is the pressure that I'm talking about, Angelo. That's the wake up call the Red Army need. They have to start acting like this is going to be a big thing now. They're down, the backs are against the wall. It's time to wake up and stop adding some offensive pressure on this called Knight squad. So that time, shot fired high out of the rink. Now face off taking place deep in the Gold Knight zone. Puck comes around back to Radigan, gets it to Bell. Pressured shot, knocked down by Reels. Hunger trying to tap it in, could not. Sutherland keeping the puck moving forward for the Red Army. And it's back to Hunger in the corner. Radigan. Off to the side of the boards, Chaquan. Trying to reach this one out off into the corner. Chaquan backhands this high and it comes back to Radigan. Will skate back in his own zone to regroup. Finds Galan in the middle. Galan gets around Harrison and he might have a chance here. Shot fired off to the side of the net. Galan looking for a rebound chance to Hunger. Knocked away by the Golden Knights. And the Golden Knights now starting to catch up with the Ray Army here. Trying to give them that added pressure that they needed. Ray Army really trying to quite hard in this third period. Gold Knights trying to prevent another loss via cruise control. Pass complete to Sutherland, far side for the Red Army. Sutherland buys time, shot fired, and Hannon falls on this one for the save. And honestly, Angelo, that's really all you need. It's just, if you're the Gold Knights, you see the, the offensive pressure coming by this Red Army squad. And all you have to do if you're Jay Hannon is get into the mix, just break things down. You've been in situations like these before. You know, regardless of what the defensive situation looks like, outcome. Another one of those times where Jay Hannon's going to be looking to try to finish things off from the keeper position. Mike Lilly and Drew Frost on the faceoff. This puck comes back over to Leary. Shot fired! Top shelf! right where mama hides the cookies and it's Leary who puts one in for the Red Army. Now that is what you need. You have to be a little more creative if you're going to be looking to score on Jay Hannon and that time Bob Leary just whipped up the right prescription for the Red Army's drug woes and now we'll see if this potentially turns into the comeback that they desperately need. 5-2 now the scoreline. 8-42 in the third period. And you know what they say, Andy, never say never. This Red Army team just might have what it takes. Well, let's not build up too much hope now. There is one goal score. Now it's up to the goal Knights to respond and see if they can keep this to within a three goal lead and not give up this big lead that they've developed for themselves. Leary. This is to Wiener. Pressure by Chaquan, taken away now by Reels, back to Chaquan. Looking for Mudra's, got him. Pressure by Pascal, but Mudra will fire the shot just off to the right side. Well, with the pressure there by Paul Pascal, really nothing that Mudra could do. He took a shot anyways, and it was definitely off target. But you add pressure there, very difficult to try to get an accurate shot. Wiener's pass now out to Frost, near side into the goal night zone. Frost shot, stopped by Hannon. Backhand chance. Frost keeps it in the corner for the Red Army, looking for options. Chaquan trying to knock this one away. This one off the boards. Radigan looking to step up and play will be halted. And it looks like, Angelo, that there could have potentially been some altercation between Michael Wiener and the likes of Mike Lilly, but it looks like it's just one of those situations where they'll just hold play, really nothing they can do. I don't, Andy, I don't think it's just a halt, halting play and just letting them play bygones be bygones. It looks like a coincidental penalty coming up on both Lilly and Michael Wiener. It'll still be five on five, but nevertheless, 
both players will have a little timeout in the hot box. Well, like we said, hey, I consider that still to be yellow card on both of those gentlemen there. There has to be a better way of trying to resemble this in this gentleman's lead. Got to find a way to be a little more mature with that. Well, it's tough, Andy, when, especially when you're in the heat of the moment trying to fight for your keeper. If you're Mike on the side of Mike Lilly there, trying to make sure that you don't have too many guys pressuring your goaltender. And right there, just a little bit of an altercation, resulting in a penalty for both of those two players. The play will move on. Pernice dumps it in the Red Army end, looking for Mudra in the corners. Got Mudra. Shaquan off the boards. Maintains it in the Red Army end. Bell retrieves it. Harrison gets around Sutherland. Looking to get around Radigan as well in the Red Army end as he passes it up to Gallant. Gallant off the stick of Hunger. Check that Sutherland with the puck. And it comes back to Chaquan. Hunger now showing some pressure off of Paris. Comes back to Radigan in the Golden Knight zone. A whiff pass by Paris. Harrison gets it out to Chaquan. Looking for Pernice. Radigan denies Pernice a chance for the puck. Chaquan intercepted by Radigan. Gallant's going to take this one himself. Two on one for the Red Army. Only Scott Harrison back. Gallant has to regroup and Paris knocks it away. What a good stop there. Harrison just read it perfectly. As long as he was able to add some pressure there on Rick Gallant to try to make that connection over to his other man in Sutherland. Really nothing they could do there. And by the time that happened, Paris was able to escape back in time and make a nice breakup. Mudra. Pass back to Harrison, far side. Red Army zone, Harrison shot, deflected by Frost. This one gets around Hunger. Back is to Chaquan in the Red Army end, looking for a feed up pass. No one there, Frost looking to take it away. Now it's Hunger. Mark Hunger will take a shot off to the left side. I think that time there really wasn't more or less a shot, Angelo, but it looked more or less like he was just trying to get it back in the Golden Knight end to give the Red Army a chance to change their line. Mudra fires a shot. Toad knock away by Chewy. Golden Knights continuing to add pressure, trying to extend their lead once more with five minutes remaining in regulation. Frost intercepted by Chiquan. Lots of time taken there, but Reels is able to put it back in the Red Army end. And it looked like the referees were about to call that one icing, but clearly Reels was over the blue line. Chaquan, in the end, looking for a wraparound chance, and once again, Chaquan sneaks his way through there, and on his return, Mr. Chaquan has himself a hat trick. And how about that? That's twice now where Oma makes you, fools you a lot. You think you see something, you think he's gonna go one way, but then he'll come around and counteract your decision making. And just like that, that's what the veteran does best. He finds a way to keep you on your toes, keep you on your feet. And right there, Oma is the man once again for the Golden Knights. This puck as Paris is looking for more for the Golden Knights. Shot fired, tap chance, and knocked out by Chewy. Rebounded by McAvoy. Tom McAvoy with lots of room on center ice gets around reels. Back in the Golden Knight zone and an offsides call made. A delayed one at that. But finishing the point, Andy, on Omer Chiquan. Now he increases his fall 2019 repertoire to four goals and two assists. Well, how about that? I mean, again, it seems like it's just another day in the office for Omer Chiquan, but Again, we've seen him under the circumstances at this point in time. If he was with another player like Matt Sharina or Scott Hillwin, maybe that production would increase. Or perhaps even with Lou Demeza, who knows? But, you know, right now, statistics are statistics, and it's just a matter of seeing Chukwon back on the ice doing what he does best, and that's to play hockey. A 
Unger and Lilly on the faceoff as it's back to Radigan far side. Sharply knocks it in the goal night end. Harrison in the corner. Feeds it up to Starr. Mitch Starr looking for options. Forced to knock it off the boards back to Radigan. So just like that, play quickly halts. 3.55 in the third period. Gold Knights up 6-2 over the Red Army squad. Gold Knights looking well on their way to starting off their season 3-2. Comes back to Pascal Radigan off the boards. It's out to Harrison. Weak pass, Red Army trying to capitalize off of it in the corner. Off in the Red Army end, this is Mudra. Gallant. And so right there, referees deem it to be a carry-on advantage by Rick Gallant. Hey, it's a tough call to make from there because, you know, all that Rick Gallant really did was he just stopped the puck from getting cleared out with his hand. But sometimes you have to be careful, Angelo, how you're stopping the puck there because if it's even, if you do it in a way where it even is deemed to be a carry motion, uh, if you're carrying the puck, if you will, with your glove, then they're going to call it. I mean, that's how the Ice Sports Forum always operated with those calls. It's just one of those house things that they've built and developed. But it's just that time, it looked like from the vantage point down there by the referees, it was just one of those, it was a huge advantage for Gallant the way he knocked that pass off. Gallant will head back in his own end. Regroups for the Red Army. Finds Pascal. Pascal looking up to Hunger, stripped away by Lilly. Reels in the mix from Gallant. This is back over to Radigan. Radigan buying time. Hannon can't locate the puck, but it gets knocked away by Reels. This is to Pascal. We'll fire the shot himself. And just like that, Star will dump this out. Golden Knights will take advantage of the lineup change. This pass off the boards, now back to Gallant. Gallant misfires the shot. Puck comes back over, this is Paris. Paris knocks this one away. It's gonna come all the way back into the Red Army end for an icing call. And now it's a matter of time of, at this point with 2.14 to go, a four goal difference, really, uh, tall order for the Red Army to even somehow get four goals in this situation. The Golden Knights did what they had to do and they defended off their lead very well. And so with that, Drew Frost and Omar Chikwun get to it on the faceoff. Harrison gets it around over to Paris. Back is to Chaquan in the Red Army end again. Chaquan gets around Bell. Chaquan feeds it out and denied by Chewy as Pernice just that close to capitalizing. Oh, and that's exactly the situation that you don't want to be in. And that's again where we talk about Angelo. That's where your one, two, three stars come into key. Because right now, Chaquan is one of those players that would rather pass it off to his man to see his other teammates succeed in scoring and putting up points. But that time, a beautiful pass set up to Panis. Panis unable to capitalize. And it's a real downer for the Golden Knights. Face off now back in the Golden Knight zone as it will be Drew Frost and Chaquan. Puck fed back to Bell. Looking for a backhand pass to Leary. Leary backhands it into the Gold Knight end. Gets around from Reels. This is Paris. Paris will get this one cleared out. Another icing call coming up. You know, even Angelo, if the Gold Knights decide to ice it six or seven more times, it could be just what they need to do at this point versus carrying the puck. Any team will have their way of trying to kill clock off at this point. So this time it'll be Chaquan and McAvoy going at it on the faceoff. As this one gets off to the boards from Paris. Gets around to Leary, a backhand pass to dump it back in the Golden Knight end. McAvoy retrieves it for the Red Army. Pass back, this is Leary, looking to capitalize again, misfires the shot, Golden Knights in there with defensive pursuit. Chaquan 
will take this one away and gets it out to Pernice. Bell with the puck. Off to Drew Frost. Kicked out by Chacorn. And this one will get cleared out all the way back into the right on the end. Another icing call up coming. So Gold Knights definitely were missing players today, but they come in once again with eight players and do offensive work. Puck comes back over to Leary. Deflected off of Mudra. This is back over to Mitch Starr. Two on one for the Gold Knights as they will skate this one forward, a shot chance, and Chewy's there for a glove save. And the, again, you look at this red army defense and the Wolves just continue to battle here. Another big scoring margin defeat. And then Red Army just has to find a way to, to keep things moving. Well, this time you could say it's the likes of just missing some key players like Todd Duncan in the mix. I think this game, personally, Antelo would have gone a whole lot different if we would have seen the captain out there trying to add a little bit of spark to the Spread Army team. But right now, it's the Gold Knights have been able to find a way. And once again, they have proven that their offense is on the rise. And so with that, the final play of the game cleared it back out to the Gold Knights zone. And the Gold Knights are victorious once again. Well, congratulations to the Golden Knights. This has been a much-needed victory for them to move to 3-2 and two on the season. You know, a team that you really can't count out just yet. You know, their two losses coming to a Black Aces team that seems to be slipping just slightly. And then, of course, the Blue Bombers, which are now the team to beat in this over-50 hockey league. But then, other than that, they have been tr able to find ways to persistently keep themselves on their toes. And this time, once again, they find a way to produce offensively. Well, of course, you talk about offense. Omer Chacon's return produces three goals for the Golden Knights. A big welcome back for Mr. Chacon. He continues to do what he does best, bringing his team up, trying to make some plays, and giving his team a chance to score. Well, as we talk about Chacon's three goals, let's not forget in the mix as well, a surprise performance there by Scott Harrison, who really turned on the Jets today for the Golden Knights. Harrison coming away with two goals, and that's exactly what you need sometimes. You know, not very often do you see guys that will just find a way to step up, but they just do an excellent job that time to keep things up, keep things rolling. And you're right, Andy, you know, who knows what to expect on any given Sunday, and you never know who might be able to shine for the squad. So with that, the Gold Knights on three and two will return next week. They will take on the Gray Wolves as the Red Army will have another dance with the Black Aces following next week's game. So keep in touch here on the Pontello Broadcasting Network. Make sure to follow us on our Facebook page at ISF Over 50 Hockey, our YouTube channel as well as where you will see these games if you ever want to catch archived games of our game of the week or even highlights on the Pontello Broadcasting Network. Go to YouTube, just type in Pontello Broadcasting Network and we will have those games to you. Or if you want to know what stats are like up to date, you can always tune in to the website itself for the venue at www.theisportsforum.com for all your standings, stats, and other announcements around other leagues. So here for my co-partner, Andy Townsend, I'm Angelo Pontello saying so long, good night. We hope everybody has a blessed evening. Golden Knights win it 6-2.